when you dive in a sub, you, you don't really know what to expect. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Diving in submersibles makes you appreciate how diverse the deep ocean is. I don't think people realize what the oceans can really offer. The tools that I use to do science allow me to go miles below the sea surface and collect samples and see things just unimaginable to most people. It definitely can be unnerving for some people. You're sealed off in this little sphere. But for me, when the hatch is shut, it means that things are about to get interesting. When I went off to college, I didn't even consider being an oceanographer. I didn't really know that you could be. But I took a course my junior year. That's when I realized that I wanted to be out on a ship, out on the water. I wanted to be exploring. I've probably done between 70 and 100 submersible dives. When I think back on some of the first dives that I did, when we hit the lights on the seafloor, there was always an audible gas. <gasps> oh, wow. You saw meadows of tube worms. Crabs grazing on the tube worm tubes, sponges, everything is in action all the time. It's almost like a symphony in front of your eyes. Did you see that? I had no other swimmers before. The deep sea is a tough, extreme place to live. It's dark and it's cold, yet all of these organisms are adapted to these habitats. These sorts of animals have probably been living on the bottom of the ocean for hundreds of millions of years. The organisms that live here are tolerating incredibly harsh conditions. These brines contain about a thousand times more bacteria and viruses than regular seawater. It creates an ideal situation for producing biochemicals that could be used for medical purposes. The oil and gas industry continues to drill in the deep oceans. Certainly there are resources in the deep sea that people want to get at, but can you do that without doing irreparable harm to the ecosystem? I'm not convinced that you can. We've only explored a fraction of these deep ocean ecosystems. Can't just be exploration for industrialization of the deep sea. It's got to be exploration for the betterment of humanity and the advancement of science. Every dive you do, changes you and it teaches you something. It opens your eyes to something that you weren't aware of before. The organisms that are on this slide could contain a cure for cancer. They could contain a new antibiotic, a new antiviral, a new treatment for Alzheimer's. I'm so glad that I have this opportunity to do what I do. It's not a job, it's who I am. And I think most people, if you had the chance, you'd want to dive every day.